Hello and welcome to Ravenfield Flight School Plane Edition. I made a video for helicopters, and now we're gonna take care of the planes. They are something to damn well get used to, and that's what we're gonna do. Come on, I'm gonna show you how to fly a plane, how to land a plane, how to shoot other planes down successfully, how to change the controls so that it's freaking playable, cause they are so horrible by default. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out my other Ravenfield videos, and uh, have fun with this. Basically you just run up to them, press F and fly away by pressing W and using your mouse to steer as well as your left and right, that's usually A and D. But I'm gonna show you a much better control scheme as opposed to what is the default. The machine gun mounted on this aircraft, the Withern based airplane and Raidenfield, has only 30 rounds. Uh, yeah, it's quite annoying actually. You have to be either very precise or it takes quite a while for the dogfights. At least you get a hit marker, that is if you didn't disable it. The best strategy is of course to get on the back, get behind of an enemy airplane and uh, usually you only want to shoot while they are flying straight, otherwise you're probably gonna waste most of your ammo. Alright, and then when they start catching flames, that's downtime for them. Oh, that was a nice one. This one was probably already prepared for the uh, for my assault thanks to the anti-aircraft. You can also shoot ground units. And you can land, as you can see. Well, at least with the help of something nice to... Oh, uh, and then tanks can shoot you, so maybe not land after all. But that was nice of these people to, uh, you know, let me grab onto them, use them as a parachute. So let's get back into the air. We have infinite ammo of course to reload. You can force reload by pressing the R key unless you, you know, if you shot one bullet or two, you can press R to reload. And you can do some stunts. For example, this right here. Whee! And you can do some fun stuff with this area as well. Let me just show you how to fail. Oh, and again, you can... Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Thanks to Ravenfield Physics Trademark 2019 Ultra Edition. Each spawn point so far has two airplanes and uh, if you die in one as long as the airplane explodes and doesn't like st get stuck forever somewhere as long as it explodes you can just respawn at the airfield or on the aircraft carrier and you should be able to make it in good time to collect the next well collect the same plane respawning and then you can continue doing stunts or dogfighting midair with other planes What are you doing up there? Check this guy out. I think he made a horrible mistake. To train your flying, first you get on a map with zero bots and just fly around. And later you can go to Archipelago for example where as long as you spawn in reverse mode or as red, Team Raven, you will have all the planes so you can actually use your allied planes as target practice. But this brings us to a very important point. Controls. The default controls are horrible. This is my personal opinion. I might be completely wrong on an objective scale. But hey, I just like to change them. You can also shoot these things, but uh, it's better to kind of kamikaze them. Okay, so see this one? This plane right there did not explode. And that actually is quite a problem, because it will just stay there forever, unless you do something about it. So now it can respawn. I also recommend that you actually just tap when shooting, because it really eats super fast through its ammunition. And you... Unless you're really, really good at following another plane, I think you have a much better chance if you just carefully tap, 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 tap. There we go. And once you have uh, taken down a plane, don't have anything on your radar, just press R to reload. It will uh, save you the 
valuable time when you spot the next plane to take down. Just look how nice and easy it is to take down this allied plane because I'm so horrible. My personal favorite move is when you need to do a sharp turn, just get your wings perpendicular to the ground and just drive up, 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 up. I kind of prefer this to just uh, slowly moving sideways. Just see how much ammo I just wasted, not hitting anything. Tapping is the key. There we go. Wonderful. Get down. Yeah. Oh. Be careful not to hit those down planes. You can try to kamikaze, but I have to say it's quite hard. Gotcha now, buddy. Yeah. Down you go. And of course you can fight helicopters beautifully. They can evade very badly and of course kamikaze even better if you jump out of a plane real quick before hitting them. And then you can take care of those pesky pilots. Excellent. So what about the controls? You can kind of see what you are doing with a stick down there on the bottom of the screen. But that's pretty much it. But what you can do is just press escape, press options, go to input and scroll down to the plane sensitivity, plane throttle, etc, etc. And this is the control scheme that I recommend. Sensitivity all the way up, plane throttle up is W, down is S, you know on an American keyboard, plane pitch forward and back is mouse up and mouse down and plane turn left right is mouse left and mouse right and for the roll I prefer A and D that's what I recommend that's what I've been flying with and uh, that's what I've been successful with so far the defaults I cannot I cannot work with that uh, having the roll controlled by the mouse is just uh, crazy for me. But hey, everybody got their preferences. And you should be able to use the new controls without restarting uh, as opposed to graphics and stuff. And uh, yeah, keep kamikaze those helicopters. Because that's just super fun. Wasn't that fun, guys? That was so cool. Did you see it? Come on. So, hooray for the airplanes! And, uh, yeah. Have fun shooting stuff down. Yeah! And if you're really hardcore, take down some tanks. And if you're really, really, really hardcore, do some landings. You saw me do one earlier, but maybe you can do something more, uh, you know, constructive, productive, survival more likely to survive. See, not that easy, but hey, let's give it another try. What the heck? Also be careful with driving into them. Uh, be careful with driving in general. Damn, those planes are sensitive. Pro tip, you can use the SL Defender sniper, heavy sniper, or you can use also the revolver to shoot pilots out of planes. Not that you're likely to do that for the enemy, but if you need to take a plane and one of the AI has mounted it, uh, you can kind of take take it back. You can be a total murderer and team killer and just take back the plane. Yep. Alright, so for landing you can just uh, try to throttle down. 
and just ram into a wall. That's how it works. Not really. So landing a plane without trashing it is virtually impossible. Um, unless you make sure to jump out. If you are actually on this airfield, you can kind of jump out, let it slide down. And it actually survives for a little bit, but nope. So here is another attempt at landing. Basically, no. The easiest way to take down a plane, of course, is using the ground-based anti-air cannons. Definitely much easier. The reload is annoying, the printer is annoying, but you will have a better time doing this rather than trying to learn how to fly and how to shoot at the same time. As for helicopters, because the control configuration uh, interface in Ravenfield Beta 6 changed, I can also give you some advice and I can tell you I really don't like the defaults. Uh, basically, just go to the menu, press escape, go to options, input, and I like uh, to set hello sensitivity to 1, and, you know, throttle W and S. This controls basically up and down movement, depending on your angle, that can be converted into forward or backward or sideways movement, though. And then pitch, forward, back, I use the mouse, and I want to use mouse down, or forward pitch and mouse up or backward pitch. For turning left and right I want to use a mouse as well. Left movement, right movement. And for the roll again I prefer much to use the keyboard A, D. And uh, I guess I'm just very bad at making straight lines uh, up and down with my mouse which is why I prefer not to make the left-right movement affect my uh, you know, this kind of movement. That's what I use a keyboard for. When you master it, you can gain speed quickly, you can get uh, risky close to the ground and take out tanks with ease without crashing and hopefully confusing enemy rocket soldiers and anti-air as well. Basically, we just have to remember that there's a kind of a delay before, like your intended movement gets applied, and uh, forward when you press W, it just means upward relative to your cockpit. So just uh, yeah, think about the rotors and how they act as propellers, kind of. And uh, training is perfect on an empty island map, I think. So. See, we didn't even crash into the windmill right there. Awesome. So I hope you have fun with this as well, if you haven't had already. So I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao.